Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Ursina Engine, 3D Python game engine, and this is tutorial number 14, creating a health bar. So a health bar is an image in video games that shows the player how much health they have left. If a player's health bar is completely empty, or the number shown is zero, the player will usually die or lose a life. Now the health bar is used in many types of video games, including first person shooters, fighter games, role playing games, and platformers. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create a health bar in Yersna, and I hope you like it. So the idea here is to create two bars, a red bar and a green bar. And the green bar is going to overlap the red bar. So that when we start, we're going to see a full green bar. And as the game goes on, the green bar will change its length to reflect the, length of the, reflect the health of the player. So let's get started. First, let's import the Yersina module and create a full bar in red. Now to import, we can write from Yersina, import star, and we want to set up our basic app. So app is equal to Yersina, and then app.run. Now let's create our red bar. I'm going to set the uh, length equal to 10 units, so I'm going to have an x variable equal to 10. Set the Create a full bar equal to an entity with the model being equal to a quad. Set the origin equal to negative 0.5 on the x axis, negative 0.5 on the y axis. Set the position of the entity at negative x divided by 2 and 0. And I'm using integer division uh, for the x coordinate. And for the y, it's 0. So the scale equal to x for the x coordinate and 0.5 for the y coordinate. And I'm going to set the color equal to red. So color is equal to color.red uh, because this is going to be our red bar. So I'm going to save and run this. And now we have our red bar basically in the center. Next, we're going to create a health bar entity class that will be used to create a player health bar object later. Now, if you're not familiar with the concept of an entity class and object, please go back and check out my previous years no tutorial, and that will be tutorial number nine in this series. So let's create that class. Close this. I'm going to create a class health bar entity fine in it with a two parameters self and x I want to call super dot in it set self dot model equal to a quad self dot color equal to color dot green self.z equal to negative 0.1 self.origin equal to negative 0.5 negative 0.5 self.position equal to negative x divided by 2 uh, for the x coordinate and then for our y coordinate it should be 0 self.scale max equal to x self dot scale self dot scale x is equal to x self dot scale is equal to self dot scale x and 0.5 so uh, so there's one argument x in this class which is the x scale or the length of the health bar which we use in self dot position uh, scale max scale x and now I'm going to add the update function in the entity class so that the health bar will change its length. So right below, I'm going to create and define update function of self. And whenever this update function is called, I'm going to set self.scale x minus equal to held keys left left arrow. multiplied by time.gt multiplied by 5. So basically when I 
hold the left arrow, um, the green health bar should decrease in length. And we want, um, and that's what this line is basically doing. So when I hold the key left arrow, so the scale X will decrease. Now if I hold the right arrow key, I want the um, health bar to basically increase. So self so scale X plus equal to held keys right arrow multiplied by time dot dt multiplied by five. And what our update function does here again is that when we hold uh, or when the left arrow key is pressed, the health bar will become shorter, which means the player has less health. And on the contrary, when the right arrow key is pressed, the health bar will become longer, which means the player will have more health. Now the health bar has a limit and cannot go uh, beyond. So we're going to add some boundary checking. So let's say we're already at 100% um, of the health. We obviously can't go beyond that. And let's say we're at you know, zero. We can't go below that. And so we're going to add some boundary checking. Now there are different ways to do boundary checking. And here we're going to use the clamp function. So I'm going to write self scale x is equal to clamp self dot scale x zero self dot scale max so the clamp function has three parameters the first one is the variable name and the second and third are the minimum and maximum of the variable here we use the clamp function to set the minimum and maximum values of the health bar length so the minimum is zero and the maximum is self dot scale max which we set here is equal to x. So finally, let's create the health bar object. Right here, I'm going to create my health bar. And this is equal to, um, this is an object of the health bar class that we just created, like this. So if I save and run this, we have Basically, our green bar is right here, but the red bar did not disappear. In fact, the red bar is actually behind this green bar from our perspective. And now if I click the left arrow key, the green bar um, became shorter. And now some of the red bar is basically poking out and we could see it. Now in a game, this will look like the player is losing health. If you get hit, the player's health bar decreases. And just for this example, I made it so that when I click the right arrow key, the health bar increases, just like that. And if I try to increase my health anymore, the clamp function basically restricts the boundaries and prevents the health from going too much, like that. And I can't go below zero either. So this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.